What is going on guys and welcome back to Pokemon Sun. We are in the Diglett's Cave, but it is about time to continue this way and there's an exit right there. So, see you later Diglett. There's probably a whole bunch more that I could do in there, honestly, but uh, we're going to continue this way. And what have we here? This is the police station. Don't fight. Don't meet anyone's eyes. So yeah, don't look at anybody in the eyes unless you're ready to just throw down with them, apparently is what I read there. And okay, looking like, looking like a cool place. If you ever get lost, just check the, check the town map. Okay, thank you for that. And we can't talk to this guy. Oh, what the hell? Got a snubble here. Bull. Bah. Oh, he's like, hey, don't talk to my snubble guy. If it's not urgent, can you come back later? Sorry, but I'm on my break right now. Okay, look at that grand bull statue thing right there. That is freaking sweet. And I accidentally talked to that again. Alright, so it looks like there's nothing to do in the police station for now. So we continue. And hey, there's a police guy ready to battle right here. What's up, brother? This guy's just literally standing up front. I haven't had any cases, so I'm bored. How about a battle? Alright, let's do this. About to see some police brutality right now if this guy beats me. <laughs> police officer Haruki. He's got one Pokemon. And it's a Growlithe, so I've got Robin Hood in front, so that's pretty much not ideal. So we're gonna have to go ahead and switch out here, but we've got ourselves a paw, so let's make that happen. Intimidate. Oh Jesus, I'm so afraid I'm gonna have to switch the hell out of here. So let's go into my man's Paul, who definitely needs a new water move. Sweet Jesus! I swear it's gotta happen soon, though. I, it's 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 gotta be soon. I think I think the next move is Water Pulse, but I don't know. I could be wrong. We we, we potentially might just not learn a damn thing. So let's just go for a Water Gun for now, though. Take a Fire Fang. Ouch! Go ahead and wet down your dog. It is smelling like wet, fiery dog out here. Oh my lord! Alright, one more of them. At least it's a 2 hit KO. Jesus, I was going to kill somebody if it wasn't. Reversal. Oh lord, that's not going to do a damn thing. And one more water gun is going to take care of the Growlithe. And I just now realized, I feel like it's been nighttime, like most of the time that I've been recording. But it's daytime now. And it's actually really nice to see the, uh, <laughs> see the daytime colors in the background and stuff. So beautiful. Alright, um, so I think I'm going to put tr uh, Trumbeak in front. Piper needs some experience. And also, while we're at it, let's go ahead. I think we actually we grow a level, or uh, um, in a couple levels, we are going to evolve. But for now, let's go ahead and. I haven't really messed around with these TMs too much, but I do realize I have Brick Break, and I don't know why I haven't done this in the first place. But let's go ahead and remove Rock Smash for Brick Break. Brick Break is 75 power, Rock Smash only 40. So, you know, let's, let's get rid of that. I don't know why the hell I haven't done that already. I don't really have too many good TMs other than that to really teach anybody. And like charge beam out, yeah, yeah. pretty much, uh, pretty much a whole lot of nothing. Smart strikes, kind of cool. User stabs the target with a sharp point, the attack never misses. But it, nobody can learn it, so <clears throat> let's just continue on this way. And it's looking like we can either go that way or we can go this way. Let's talk to you first. What's up? If you go into Coney Coney, you've got to stop by Kahuna Olivia's shop, right? She sells stones you can use on Pokemon to make them evolve. Interesting. And so we've got a fisherman guy right here. What's up, bruh? I keep re <laughs> repeating fair battles with Pokemon and trainers. What kind of person is person is a fisherman? Personman. I don't know, man. Fisherman. I don't. I don't know how you do it. You stand in the same spot, catching Magikarps all day. Does not seem like the life for me, Mike. But you got one Pokemon, and so ooh, it's a Chinchow. Okay. Well, that's that's actually pretty interesting. I don't know if you have any electric attacks, but let's see here. Piper, you know, level 23. We should probably we should probably switch. Let's just go into Robin Hood on this one. <clears throat> and I'm ready to have a damn Decidueye. This this middle evolution stage stays around for way too long. We've got a long way to go. Okay, water gun. That is fine by me. Let's go ahead and water my grass real quick. And we'll go ahead and razor leaf you to the Chin Chow face. Got some plus signs on your eyes, bro. Ooh, not even a one hit KO. And we get Confuse Raid, of course. Confused Ray looks trippy as hell. I'm even confused about that one. Jesus. Bringing out the rubber duckies. Don't hit yourself, Robin. Don't do not do it. Yes. Okay, so we break through, and Razor Leaf is going to kill the Chin Chow. That's right. That's what I like to see. That thing's pretty damn cool, though. Alright. Got some experience. We are ready to continue, Fisherman Mike. Thank you, uh, for the XP. Alright, so there's an item here. What is it? Netball. <clears throat> Very nice. I shall take that and probably an item here too. And it's an X accuracy. Nice. 
pretty obvious hidden item. Thank you for that. And what's going on, bro? The dead can sleep in peace here. Jeez, here's the shadow of Tapu Lele's sacred ruins, the ruins of life. They say that when... that this, That's why Memorial Hill was built here long ago. What's up with all the, like, cemeteries and, like, dead Pokemon everywhere? Uh, kind of a weird vibe from that. All right, Memorial Hill. Cool. What's going on here? The mighty families of old Alola rest beneath these graves here. Maybe they wanted to stay close to the Tapu. When my own time comes, I hope I'll be put to rest in the same grave as my good rock rope. That is, that's sad as hell. And, uh, what do we have over here? Any items or anything? Nope, just pretty much, uh, just dead people. So it looks like we do have some people to battle over here, which is nice because we definitely need some experience. I thought I'd have a little gander at the ruins of life, but there's one thing to do first. Okay, what is that? To battle me? Okay, sounds good. Let's do it. So, Gentleman Smith here has got one Pokemon. Ooh, it's an Umbreon. Interesting. So I just taught Trumpeak freaking Brick Break, and we're going to put that bad boy to use right now. Umbreon's bulky ass is probably going to take it very nicely. We're only two levels higher, so, you know, let's just go for the Brick Break, though. See how much this does. Okay, decent damage and Confuse Ray. Why does everything like to Confuse Ray around here? This is the fucking Confusion route. It's okay, though. We're not stupid, so we're gonna be able to break through, and now you're gonna baby doll eyes. Jesus, Umbreon. Confusion and then lower my attack. Bruh, so even if I do break through. Okay, so we do. It's not gonna do a whole lot, though. Puts it under half. <clears throat> I'm probably gonna hit myself. You know what? I, um... Hmm, what should I do here? Should I, should I switch? I'm gonna let Slytherin handle this one. We do need to get this guy some levels, too. Right now, I'm gonna work on, I feel like, <clears throat> top two. Slytherin and freaking Piper need some action. Baby doll eyes me? No. Okay, let's just go for... Let's go for a flame burst on the OS. Should have used his E-Power, actually. Probably would have been a, been a better idea. Quick attack. Ouch, bruh. Oh, okay, so one more of those is gonna take this thing out. We look pretty similar, honestly. It's like my long-lost brother, Umbreon. Oh, what the hell is that? What was that? What? No, bruh! You can't be doing that! No items allowed, you freaking cheater! Okay, so, Jesus. Time to bust out the Z-Power. We're going for Inferno Overdrive. Shit's getting real. No more playing games. Do my little fire dance. Slytherin's like, oh, okay. About to, about to bust out the, the big guns. I honestly don't like how Z-Moves take so long, though. It's almost just like, get to the damn point. After you see it the first time, it should just go straight to the animation. And my god, that did... That did literally less than... What? How is that even possible? What the, what the fuck? My Z-Move did less than just Flame Burst did. Oh my lord, this Umbreon is just... An absolute problem. Alright, fuck it. I'm bringing out Washington. No more playing games here. Wishy Washy can handle this thing. If it wasn't for that fucking full restore this guy used. Oh my god. Okay, so let's turn into a beast ass submarine. This battle against one Pokemon is taking far too long. Fucking baby doll eyes, you asshole. Alright, um, I'm just gonna go for a brine, I guess. Get that stab special attack, and of course you outspeed me in time to get a Confuse Ray off where I'm for sure going to hit myself this time. Almost no question. No? Okay, well, <laughs> I j that works out perfectly. And one more brine, thank the Jesus I can kill this thing. Quick attack, that's totally fine. Just don't hit yourself, please. Now, okay, there it is. I feel like I deserved that one. I've been too confused and haven't even hit myself yet. Okay, one more fucking time. Jesus. This thing's only attacking move is quick attack, it, it's looking like. What's your deal, Umbreon? Okay, so we break through. My god. And we took took our whole team to fucking kill that thing. <clears throat> well, down goes the Umbreon later, bitch. And Piper grew to level 26, not bad. Paul grew to 27, hell yeah. Oh, at least we got a lot of money from that. He's like, here you go. You, you deserve this from, for beating my damn Umbreon. Things a pain in the ass. All right, continuing on. We've got uh, we got a little little guy down here. What's up, bro? People in graves are sleeping forever, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> Why is that so sad? No, they're definitely not sleep. I mean, technically, they are sleeping forever, but you know, I, I hate to break it to you, preschooler, Liam. Liam, they're fucking, they're dead as hell. <laughs> so this guy's got a Jigglypuff. 
Nice. Alright, Piper. Shouldn't have too much trouble with this guy. Just gonna pluck your ass. I also learned that most of the totem Pokemon do have berries with them, so plucking is actually really useful. And damn, you just hit me with a rollout? Okay, I see you rolling, Jigglypuff. Fucking Autobots roll out. And that is a dead puffball. Robin Hood Griddle level 28. We are just growing levels. Once to learn Synthesis. Oh yeah, we're doing that for sure. Let's get rid of Tackle because we're never going to use that shit again. And now we have a Reliable Recovery. Yes. Next is a Ladian. Alright, we're just going to stay in here then, Trumbeak. Let's do it. I've, what level the hell does this thing evolve at? It's going to be a surprise, but I, it's it's soon. It's, somebody told me it's somewhere around like somewhere around 30, potentially. I don't know. Well, Ladian's about to catch this beak and die. Later, bruh. Sorry, lady, and you're, you're cool as hell, but you just, you suck, kind of. Alright, Liam, what else do you got to say about <laughs> people sleeping forever? If they're sleeping and won't wake up, just give them a chesto berry to hold. <laughs> you can't give dead people chesto berries, fam. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. That's that's pretty sad, though. I'm not gonna lie. So, we've got some, some shit going on over here. What's up, lady? Jeez, why are you just staring me down? Which Pokemon do you think is fitting with the grave? Okay, well that's... That's a little bit weird. I don't know about... I mean, obviously ghost types, but... Jesus. So, this lady looks uh... Madame Sayuri. She's got one Pokemon. Probably gonna be a ghost. No, it's a Comfey. What the fuck is that thing? What? This lady just busted out one of those, like, lay necklaces. <laughs> interesting, interesting. I haven't seen one of these things yet, I don't think. Will this catch this being one of those Pokemon that I will never use? So of course we get confused, because people on this route just love confusing us. And we hit ourselves. Damn it! Come on, Piper! Fuck, that's a lot, too. Alright, Comfy. What are you doing here? Rap? Really, bruh? <laughs> oh my god. So we're wrapped, we're confused, just break through. There we go. So we're able to plug. And that thing just ate that shit up. What type is this? It looks like just a fairy. I was thinking fairy grass. You, you remind me of a uh, <clears throat> fucking Florges thing. Just got a spring around me. Okay, so we do break through the confusing. Sweet Jesus. One more pluck. We can kill this flower necklace. We got this, Piper. <laughs> we got this. One more damn time. <clears throat> I wonder what a bill. Oh my god. Full restore again? Where the hell are all these people getting full restores? Jesus, they just come out here prepared. Okay, and, and rap is just being annoying as fuck. Just let me kill you, you damn flower necklace. Okay, you're gonna rap me again. Of course, luckily that doesn't do very much damage. Let me just get a critical hit, please just die. Fuck. Of course not. All right, Piper, you're 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 blowing it, man. This, you're literally battling against flowers here. What are you What are you doing? You got five super potions left. Let's use that. By God, these battles are just going so damn long. Okay, we avoided the attack there. Thank God. So we know it's not going to be confused. One more pluck. Just die. No, it does land in a sweet kiss. Okay, well. My god, I'm gonna hit myself here for sure. I say that because every time I say that, I don't end up hitting myself. Ha! I told you. <laughs> and that is a dead Comfy. Comfy. Weird ass Pokemon that it. Yeah. I hope I never see that, <laughs> that thing again. Well, we got a level 27 off that. Not too bad at all. And Slytherin grows to level 26. Washington, 28. Hell yeah. Is it ghost type after all? Yep, I believe so, lady. Alright. Continuing, is there anything else going on over here? We got some grass, and hey, there is another trainer. <clears throat> so it's looking like this route's going to be pretty useful. We could have just continued to the left there into the town, but I'm kind of glad we came over here because we definitely need the, ex the experience. And this <laughs> punk girl, Melissa, has got an area dose. Pretty fitting Pokemon for that girl. You look the same. It's like how owners and their dogs look the same. Owners and this, this lady and her Pokemon look the same. One pluck should do the trick. Finally, a one-hit KO. Sweet Jesus. Needed that one. And that is a dead spider. 
Later, Ariados. And Melissa was defeated. You're the calm, cool, and collected type, aren't you? Look at her face, my god. Well, alrighty then. So I don't know. Is there more? Oh, there is more we can go to. So we just continue this way. <clears throat> this takes us to an item over here, cool. So that's a hyper potion, hell yeah. I will take that gladly. We should honestly go check out some clothing shops after this. I hope there's something to do there. Alola Outskirts, or Akala Outskirts, not Alola. Same shit though. And what have we in the grass over here? There's gotta be something interesting here. Oh, okay, just a wingle, so. <laughs> not looking entirely interesting, but I mean, there's gotta be something cool here. Wingle, level 22. I'm just gonna kill you, actually. Oh, you outspeed me, hit me with a water pulse. Of course, this wild wingle gets water pulse, and it confused me. What? I, why am I so confused today? My god, <laughs> this is like the day of confusion, and it, of course it leaves you with one HP, so I've gotta attack it now, damn it. Bruh, I need your experience. Alright, Piper, snapped out of the confusion though, hell yeah. <laughs> that wingle did not look like it was gonna die there, Jesus. I don't know why the hell I even attacked that thing, but whatever. Let's let's actually let's look around in this grass here for another second. There's got to be some new, or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's just a random route. It's always worth looking around though. And just another winkle. So pretty much just uh, full of damn picos. All right, I'm not killing this thing this time. Cause I'm gonna get confused. It's gonna be just awful, and it's not even worth the experience, honestly. All right. One more try. Let's see what we... What else? Last Pokemon here. What is it? Wingle. Yep, three Wingles in a row, so that just is nature's way of telling me to get the hell out of this grass, because there's literally nothing of use here. I, I do believe, though, there is the first form of Beware somewhere around here. I think I saw on Twitter. I don't know. I don't want to end up using a Beware anyway, but I kind of wanted to find one. Whatever. I fish when I think I can catch something. I battle when I think I can win. Alright, so this guy thinks he can win, huh? Well, we'll just be testing that one, brother. <clears throat> Not if my Trumbeak has anything to say about it. My fucking Vernon over here has got a star you. Okay, okay, and a cool Pokeball, too. Nice, I like your style, bro. Well, Piper is ready to pipe that ass up. <clears throat> I also could kind of use a better flying move. My moves are just not, not working out for me. Camouflage. Okay, okay. Turned into the grass type. Well, hey, that is even better because now Pluck's super effective. Didn't really matter, but I don't know why you would go for that there. That's random. I don't even know how camouflage works, actually. Is it like the nature around you? Uh, what, what, what determines what type it turns into? I don't know. What we go to level 27 next is Gyarados. Oh, shit. Okay. So, Gyarados, huh? Let's, um... Let's go into Play-Doh, I, I guess. Honestly, either way, we're gonna get intimidated and we have physical attacks. But fuck it, let's let uh, let's let Play-Doh do some action here. Get some action. So first Gyarados we've seen. That's pretty cool. Level 23. Let's get a little Poison Touch action, bro. Let's go for uh, let's go for that Poison Fang. Thrash. Oh shit. Ouch. Oh my God, that's it. Over half. This Gyarados is not fucking around, and my attack did nothing, but we do get the poison, I guess. Take that, you damn Gyarados. My god, that thrash, that thrash hurts. Do I just, what do I do here? Do I let this thing die? Do I switch? Hmm. Yep, I'm pretty much just gonna go ahead and let, <laughs> let Play-Doh die here. Let's go for one last poison thing. <clears throat> Maybe in some miracle we can live this, but no way. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this Gyarados is not playing games. Alright, time to bring out Robin Hoot. Let's get ourselves a little Razor Leaf crit here, shall we? We have Synthesis, so that's pretty damn nice. It outspeeds me. Steady thrashing. Doesn't do a whole lot to me, though. And now you get confused. That's right, bitch. Oh my god, I missed the Razor Leaf? Come on. Why does that even happen? This is a big-ass Gyarados. I don't know how you missed that thing, Robin Hoot. What the fuck? So it's gonna break through his confusion, get a leer off, that's fine. Cause I'm gonna crit your ass right here, calling it. Nope, of course not. Is the poison gonna kill though? And the poison is gonna kill it, hell yeah. So Grimer comes back from the dead. Ends up getting us that KO. Wouldn't have been nice if we could have just won by thinking I could win. Yep. 
It's not that easy, guy. Not that easy. Alright, so we got a TM over here. What's that? Ooh, and there's even a fishing spot right there. So, TM28, Leech Life. I think they actually did something with that move, buffed it, or somehow, I don't know. Well, let's fish here, see if we can catch something. Daddy needs a new Magikarp. Oh, nothing needs to be, okay, nothing's biting. What the fuck? One more try. Yeah, okay, yep, nothing. <laughs> Seems like there's never anything when you fish. Like, how long do you have to sit there and smash A for? Damn. Alright, so it looks like we got some more action going on over here. Was well, gonna heal up, but screw it, let's just continue. What's up, karate guy? I've got a flying type, so it's looking like we got the matchup here. Good morning. Morning for short. <laughs> yes, subtract one letter from it, and now it's short, I guess. Just throw the G out, bucket. So this guy here, Black Belt Kenji, got one Pokemon. It's a Hariyama. Nice, it brings out the fat ass. Piper, let's see. We're probably going to take a lot of damage if we don't end up killing this thing. That's not going to happen, though. You're too bulky to die. Hopefully you have a berry or something. No, that'd be nice. Nope. Vital throw. Oh, yep. I'm dead as hell. Sweet lord, Piper. That, okay. Yeah, we're... This is why I say I should have grinded up, because at this point, I'm just getting... Getting destroyed. It's alright, though. Paul's ready to come in, bust out the confusion. With my two terrible-ass moves, confusion and water gun. The power. Oh my god, it ate that shit up. Whirlwind. Bro. How the hell does Hariyama even use Whirlwind? He just huffing and puffing or what? I don't get it. Well, Robin Hood was dragged out. That's fine. <clears throat> we'll go for a pluck on you again. And finally, that's a dead ass Sumo Wrestler. Should I revive my Pokemon? I feel like I'm, I'm I'm close to the town, obviously. So I don't know if if I should revive and then potion up or if it's even worth it. I don't know. Paul go to level 28 though. Finally, we're learn learning Water Pulse. Sweet lord, thank god. Okay. Fuck you, Water Gun. I'm just gonna leave Curse because it's kind of funny to have there. I don't know, it might be useful if I get a funny physical attack or something. I don't know. Well. It's about damn time, guy. And okay, let's see. So, looking at the bottom, there is a bunch more to do over here. Should we find some more stuff in the grass? Is there an item over here? Nope, no item. Ooh, there's a, there's a Zygarde thingy here. A strange creature was sucked into the cube. Hell yeah. <clears throat> no clue how many more of those we need, but... Probably by the end of the game. And another Wingle. Four for four on Wingles. Nice. Alright, well, we run from your bitch ass. And let's see what's up over here a little bit more to the north, but if there's nothing too exciting, I'm just gonna end up going back over to the city. Ooh, okay, we're going into some... This place looks fucking nice. It's ruins of life. This looks like a pretty important area. What's going on here? Oh, it's the strength things, huh? So a heavy-looking boulder, maybe a Pokemon can move it. So we don't have any way of getting any farther. So this is probably some type of thing we come back to later. Might be a legendary back there? Who knows? Well, I'm going to go ahead and take note of that place. So when we have the Pokemon that can uh, move some boulders, we know where to go. <clears throat> Alright, so that's pretty much all there is for the outskirts here. So let's just run back this way and head into the town. Oh! Damn it. Always latch last patch of grass every time. Hey, five for five on Wingles. Nice. There's literally nothing else here except for Wingles. What the fuck is your deal, Wingle? These things are breeding like crazy over here. So many of them. Just generations of Wingles. Alright, so we are back to Memorial Hill. How the hell? Okay, I've got to run all the way over this way, of course. Ooh, item. I totally missed that in the first place, but we got a spell tag now. Cool. Thank you for that. Anything interesting over here? Nope. A whole lot of nothing. Oh, we can go this way. Sweet. Little shortcut. Ooh, another item. <clears throat> and it's a Dusk Ball. Cool. One of my favorite Pokeballs. Honestly, they just look cool as hell. And okay, so enough of the outskirts area. Back to Route 9, and now we are going over this way, which is... Ooh, okay. Beautiful day here. Look at this. Oh, tiny-ass town, but pretty cool. It's got, like, some Japanese feel to it. Delibird, what are you doing? Delibird can fly like that? <laughs> Look at his little-ass wings flapping. How the hell is that even working, bro? Just got a Probo Pass cruising by? What? 
What's going on here? Can you just challenge that thing to a battle? Nope, just said what's up. Okay. Just being friendly, I, I guess. <laughs> so this town's pretty cool. What do we got over here? What's going on? Wouldn't you like some lovely smelling incense? No. Selling incense, huh? Lummy Lummy is a style of massage we practice here in Alola. How about a treatment for your Pokemon? Make them feel more friendly towards you. I can you say I can do a little Lummy Lummy or Dark Tricks you have there? Hey, sure. So let's just make it a little more friendly to you. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get our buddy a, a massage. There you go. Living the luxury life. <laughs> What's going on? Hmm, I don't really understand these foreign goods, but they're pretty fun to look at. And I had no trouble understanding the stones and fossils in Miss Olivia's store up there. Okay, so we got the we got the store. Ooh, what is this? Like a fucking haircut place? What's going on here? You know what? If you like that outfit someone's wearing in Festival Plaza, they can have apparel items littered straight to you. Cool, and there is one of those big ass monkeys. You do it. <laughs> okay. Welcome. Okay, let's see what we can buy here. Your boy needs a new shirt. We got ooh, pink athletic tank. Never going, never going for that. Sandy gas tank. Ooh, lepity. <laughs> Necktie tee. Looking. This says we're professional, but we're also ready to party. You know. Sporty tank. Legendary. Ooh, that shit's pretty fucking cool. Seed. Poison bee. Ooh, I'm going with the. Uh, I'm going with this one. This thing's sweet. Six thousand dollars for a T-shirt. My God. Okay, what else we got? We got some. We got some pants. Some legendary shorts. We can get that to match our shirt. These are pretty sweet. I'm gonna go with these seed ones. Hell yeah, we're just getting an all-out new outfit right now. I wonder if we can get a new bag too. No socks available. We do have some new sneaker options though. Hell yeah, these black ones are fucking cool. <laughs> Alright, let's just get these black ones. Five thousand dollars. I'm just spending all my money here, but whatever. Ooh, and we got a new backpack too. Hey, let's go ahead and spin around here. Probably gonna have to go with the black. Yep, getting a new scout pack. Hell yeah. What else do we got? Hats. Ooh, ooh. Your boy needs a black one. Or I could just get this one that matches. The legendary one. I don't know. Poison B. You know, what? I'm probably just gonna I'm gonna leave the hat the same. Fuck it. We already have a black one on. No eyewear available and no hair accessories. So, <clears throat> go ahead and put on our latest purchases. <laughs> oh yeah, new town, new us. Nothing like a little uh, little shopping therapy, huh? Well, all right, cool. <laughs> let's get out of there and let's go heal up at the Pokemon Center, and then we're supposed to meet somewhere at. Uh, the, the place where she sells the stones or whatever. So we heal up, thank you. Team's looking as good as ever. Thank you for waiting, you are welcome. Alright, um, let's actually go buy some super potions, or at least some type of potions, whatever y'all got here. Got a sparkling Z crystal, you click Malastar, oh, congratulations, now you can purchase more items. So I will buy some, uh, ooh, Ultra Balls? Hell yeah, we're getting some of these too. I'm gonna get like 15 of those bad boys. And then we have some hyper potion options. Hell yeah, let's get some of these too. Getting 11 of those for some reason, why not? And then I'm gonna also get some revives. I already have 8 of them, so I'm gonna get. Oh, I'm just gonna get 2. Make it 10! Fuck, god, god damn it, I said no. What the fuck? Why do I do that every time? Alright, 2. And you gotta say yes, Jesus. Thank you. Alright, so what the hell is this guy doing? Hey you! You got a Rotom Dex, haven't you? I got the perfect job for you, what do I say? Well, take me up on it. Um, sure. Employee of a place called the Aether Foundation, doing a survey. Good luck in finding them, so spot, tell spot, enemy cabinet. Catch a passing man, would you show me the data from your Pokedex? Cool. Well, he's gonna pay you if you go show that guy one of those monkey Pokemon, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, guys, we're gonna end the episode here. Next time, uh, we're gonna explore a little, around, a little more around this place, so hit that like button if you enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Peace out.